Good morning, I'm Jake Wittenberg. We're coming on the air with breaking news right now. Governor Jay Inslee now extending his coronavirus restrictions for yet another week, now set to expire on January 11th. The uh, initial uh, extension of these restrictions was set back on December 10th. A lot of us thinking this was definitely inevitable to come. Let's get to Drew Mickelson, who is live on the phone with us in Olympia with an update. Drew, uh, it sounds like the governor uh, saw something that indicated these restrictions had to continue, right? That's what it sounds like, and we, we didn't get a lot of information from it. We have a, a statement that was just emailed out. Uh, I don't think this is going to come as a big surprise to a lot of folks, especially with the, with the holidays uh, of right in the middle of them right now, and we don't know what's going to happen with uh, with travel and exposure and case numbers. Uh, but officially now the uh, deadline was exposed, supposed to expire next Monday has now been extended to the following Monday, January 11th. And the big, the big part of that is the ban on indoor dining and bar service, uh, forcing uh, lots of restaurants, definitely here in the Olympia area, to uh, expand the parking lots with tents and heaters, uh, trying to keep uh, patrons dry uh, so they can stay in business. I did speak with one um, owner of the, the Well 80 Brew House in town. He said he was not surprised at all. He fully expects these uh, restrictions to be in place at least until the 21st of January. He says, you know, you, you got to have that three-week period to see what uh, what the numbers are like over the holidays. So, not a big surprise, but uh, a lot of folks are still upset uh, that that these bans are in place because not all restaurants and bars can can go outside. They don't have right. that option. So, uh, a lot of folks are disappointed this morning. Yeah, and on that note, Drew, I have to ask you since you've talked to a lot of business owners, what what do they feel like is is going to be the help from the state? Is it going to be enough even to get them through these tough times with this new extension now? Well, that was always the, the concern is that, that these rules were being put in place, but not much assistance uh, was out there. And uh, luckily, we did uh, get this uh, stimulus package passed out of out of Congress and signed by President Trump this, this past weekend. So there is some help on the way, and they said uh, that that was a huge relief, but they say it's not nearly enough. The Hospitality Association called it a, uh, a down payment on uh, – on the bigger on the, on the bigger problems that we have, so uh, more help will be needed. And co uh, coincidentally, or maybe not coincidentally, the next legislative session starts January 11th, the day that these these new restrictions are set to expire. Mm, interesting. Uh, also, Drew, we've seen some defiant business owners there in Thurston County, Lewis County, who are continuing to operate indoor dining despite uh, the restrictions and even some possible charges. I'm wondering if uh, you're seeing some developments there with those business owners, if you've heard about whether they're going to continue to operate. That sure seems to be their uh, their motive, uh, their plan, at least. Uh, they knew that they were facing fines and going to be in trouble, and, and all, all signs point to them uh, continuing to fight the state on this. There was a big rally uh, out in front of uh, the Lewis County Courthouse yesterday, about 200 people uh, calling for an end to these uh, restrictions, and I guarantee those folks are, are, are not happy about it. And uh, uh, but the, the farm boy owner is, is the first one in the state to be held in contempt, and he is facing a $2,000 fine every day he, he stays open. And uh, we're waiting to hear if uh, he is, in fact, going to open back up today. Yeah, all right, we'll keep watching that. Drew Mickelson breaking the news this morning that Governor Inslee will be extending uh, the coronavirus restrictions you all endure every day of your life to an additional week now set to be wrapping up on January 11th. At least that's the plan for now. This all coming just about nine months to the day since the governor's stay home, stay healthy order was first issued. We'll get you back to regular programming with more details throughout the day. Stay with us on king5.com.